Number seven, Mark
John, with Blackburn facing relegation and desperately needing the points, we thought it would be a tough game tonight, but we made it tougher ourselves, didn't we? Yeah, it, still trying to process that one, Lorna, I have to say. I mean, uh, the ultimate game of two halves, I think, first half, one of our best performances of the whole season, to be frank. Um, you know, lots of confidence, guys wanting to take the ball in tight areas, playing out from the back. Uh, Midfield two, Jamie Allen and, and Callum Bremner were outstanding. Front three were really fluid, hard to deal with, and we're 2 0 up. Could have been any, anything you wanted, could have been six or seven at half time. And then we've came out, we've just not started the second half well. Sloppy start, Blackburn scored off a, a corner, really, really sloppy. The second goal is just utterly bizarre. I don't know how that goes in in a million years, it's, it's not even a great strike, and I think it hits the ground twice and somehow goes in. And then we just we just capitulate um, and just never got going second half at all, you know. And we've had some really really tough words with the lads in there, I've got to say, um, because that's the that's the third time, fourth time potentially actually, that we've given away a two goal lead, and it's just not acceptable. Um, they're a fit bunch, so it's it's not down to fitness or conditioning; it's a mentality thing, you know. And it's it's been able to manage the game effectively. Uh, it's being brave on the ball in difficult times. It's still doing the proper things well. And we just didn't do that tonight. But massive credit to Blackburn, I have to say. Um, fighting for their lives. I know the management team well, brilliant guys. Um, and I hope they stay up because it's a brilliant club. Um, and they deserve a lot of credit. For the second half, they were fantastic. But from our point of view, unacceptable. Obviously, that's the league done. but. The team are playing for places in a cup final squad. So, how do you pick the boys up from this? Yeah, I think at the end of this season, you know, we'll, we'll probably look back on the league campaign with quite a lot of pride. You know, and if you consider we rebuilt a, a brand new team, brand new squad in September, and the run we went on was fantastic. Um, that just makes it all the more disappointing how con how inconsistent we've been in the last kind of six or eight weeks. Um, but there's still a number of big games to play, you know, and there's a cup final to go and win. Uh, we're in the quarter final of, of another cup, so we need to pick the boys up, need to go again. It still has the potential to be a fantastic season, albeit, you know, we're not going to be crowned uh, league champions. But after a 34 game season, the best team wins the league. So whether it's Trinent or Pennycook, congratulations to them. Still a lot of positives to take, as you say, from this season. As you say, we've got a cup final and a cup quarter final to come. Um, any injury update for the supporters? Um, I'm thinking of Alan Snedden in particular. Will we see him before the end of the season? I'm hoping so. I think Sneds is probably two weeks away uh, from being back, fit, ready to start games again. Um, he's a massive miss. Uh, you know, Sneds guarantees you 20 goals a year. Uh, I think he's on 17 or 18 just now, um, and he's been injured for quite a bit of the quite a bit of the season actually. So. He's a massive player when he is fully fit. Um, he's really important in that number nine position, the way he takes it in, the way he rolls defenders, the way he brings other guys into the game. And he's a fabulous finisher as well. So he's been a big miss. So we're thinking probably two weeks for Alan. Um, and if we can get him back in fit, then it will certainly you know, be a, a big positive for us. Thanks very much, John. Great. Thank you.